And for a perspective on this evacuation, we're joined now by space medicine researcher, Dr. Furhan Asrar. Thank you so much, doctor, for joining us. This is the first medical evacuation from the ISS, but will not be the first time an astronaut has dealt with some sort of ailment there. How would treatment normally work in those cases? Uh, yes, exactly. I mean, there have been a number of issues, even they've been living there for several months. Some astronauts have even lived over a year, though, as well in space. Uh, so you do get those usual ailments. Typically, the way that it works is that the all uh, astronauts are trained in order to uh, address medical emergencies. Uh, additionally, one of the crew members is a designated a crew medical officer who is trained even further to handle any kind of like medical emergency or scenario. So they basically uh, use uh, the assess immediately what may have happened, whether that's an injury, whether someone's having some symptoms, and they would then connect with the uh, expert uh, space physicians known as flight surgeons who are medical doctors who are trained in the field of space medicine uh, to assess the situation and can also guide the astronauts on board. Uh, and this way, if they are able to address or handle the situation by let's say taking a medication or by just uh, basically supporting the individual, just monitoring them, seeing how they've been doing and it resolves, then great. Uh, and following that, I mean, they would also then just assess the situation in terms of, is it completely resolved, whether there might be anything else to do. Uh, in this scenario, also usually what happens is that if they haven't fully diagnosed the condition or uh, basically the condition might be something that requires an urgent uh, uh, further assessment or specialized assessment, which uh, the ISS does not have, or even specialized management, they would then consider even an immediate deorbit if that was needed, but in this case, an evacuation. So while we don't know what this medical issue was, I'm assuming that there is a general understanding of which conditions can be treated while still in space and, and what would actually be the line uh, that would have to be crossed in order to have the astronauts return to Earth. Yes, that, that's definitely a great point. So uh, typically, I think the main thing that we would see is that if there is a condition, uh, I mean, it could be minor cuts and scrapes, headaches and stuff that could be resolved by taking a certain medication um, or even stitches or something that might need to be applied and it could completely resolve the situation in terms of when something needs to be dealt or brought to earth is usually in scenarios where the individual's health is of continued concern. So uh, for example, if the condition isn't resolved or it may not be diagnosed uh, exactly and it needs further assessment, or for example, we know that if let's say the mission had continued, so if uh, the treatment uh, or management was not basically brought up at an earlier stage, could that have impa negatively impacted the astronauts' health, worsening the situation or putting them at eventual risk, even if they're stable right now, but who knows two weeks later if something may have changed. So using these conditions where they need further assessment and management, which could not be provided at the ISS and also that they could not, let's say, wait for an increased duration. So for the full uh, duration of the mission, then basically they would consider immediately deorbiting or in this case, the taking a couple of days and then evacuating. And just quickly before you go, what's next for these astronauts once they land back on Earth? Do they all need to then undergo any special testing? Well, for all astronauts, because right now, I mean, they have been there for a number of months uh, and space does put a toll on our bodies. They are perfectly healthy individuals who have been tested, but we know that the strain of uh, the environment of space, the radiation, the microgravity, uh, just being away uh, from Earth though, as well, it puts a toll on the body. So all astronauts have deconditioned a bit. So once they'll be uh, landing in on Earth, they would be assessed overall just in terms of how they're doing. Obviously, uh, attention even to the individual that's having that medical concern, but all the astronauts themselves are medically assessed to see how are they uh, doing, and then they go this whole recondition process where that they would then basically uh, bring them back to their baseline over here. Dr. Furhan Asrar, we thank you so much for your insight. Really appreciate it. Thank you.